Yo, what's good, all peppers? Download OBS Studio in the description. If you got OBS Studio already downloaded, go ahead and open up OBS Studio. If you have streaming settings already, go ahead and click on profile, create a new profile and call it 120, just for 120 FPS. This could also apply for 60 FPS as well. You're gonna right click on scene and then you're gonna hit add, make a new scene on sources, click right click and click add, go to game capture, click okay. And you're gonna to wanna to add any full screen application. This only applies for anybody that is using full screen exclusive. If you're using borderless, you have to use capture specific window. I don't prefer this because you're gonna to have to switch your window every time you open up the game. Now go to your settings, go to output, change output mode to advanced. Now, if you're only gonna do recording, obviously this is the main focus of the video. Click on MKV, change this to MPEG MP4. Video encoder, switch that to H.264. Audio track, I mean, I have it on three. Um, well, I'll explain a little bit about that a little bit later. Constant bit rate changes to 50,000. You can drop down and put 40 or even 30 if you like, if the bit rate is a little too high for you. Uh, now, what really takes up your performance is the preset here. You can go from good to best. If you're on a lower end PC, you can try medium, but good quality slow is good enough already for me. High quality on tuning, two pass quarter resolution, profile on high should be good enough already. Click apply. Go to audio, change all of this to 320. Then once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to go over to your replay buffer tab and make sure you have that enabled. You can change this up to however many seconds you like. I like to do 600 seconds, that's like 10 minutes. So that way I can get gameplay if I wanted to as well. Go over to audio, make sure you have your desktop and your mic audio is checked and then go over to video. Make sure you have your base and output resolution to what your monitor is already set to. So I have a 1080p, you're gonna change the common FPS value to integer FPS value, change this to 120, then click apply, then go to advanced and change your color range to full. That helps out the saturated colors on your games. On hotkeys, you're gonna to wanna to change your save replay to whichever you prefer. I have mine on F7. Every time I open up OBS Studio, I always make sure that I click on Start Replay Buffer. And when I hit F7, immediately it records the back the last 10 minutes. Just a little bonus, if you wanna separate your audio tracks, click on the three dots right next to your microphone. Click on Advanced Audio Properties here. Make sure you have one and two selected for your mic and one and three for your game audio. So that way one is pretty much your stream or anything or everything combined all together. And then two is your mic, three is your desktop audio. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments. If this video helped out, leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.